part three, we're going to create the method to save new and modified data to the database. We're going to create the method to delete data from the database, and we're going to add a filter to the data set. So now let's go write the function that's going to save the changes we've made to our data set to our SQL Server database. To, to do that, let's go into our company data access component and add a save data function. I'm going to call it public static void. It's going to be called save data. I'm going to pass by reference the data set changes. Changes data set. So create a data set, added data set, equal changes data set dot get changes data row state dot added. So do our if added data set not equal to null. Our company data adapter dot update added data set dot tables company. Changes data set dot merge added data set. Create another data set. Modified data set equal changes data set dot get changes data row state dot modified and if modified not equal to null company data adapter dot update modified data set dot tables dot merge modified data set a data set deleted data set equals change set dot get changes data rows state dot deleted and deleted data set not equal to null company data adapter dot update deleted data set dot tables dot merge. Now let's go into our form and add the logic behind our save changes. We need to make sure that, that we have included our SQL Server libraries. And then check and see if there have been any changes. If not, dot has changes. Add this message box to just say that there's no 
changes, so we're not going to do anything else. I'm going to put it into a try catch. Another message box. Basically, say. Data not saved and add this ex.message. Then come here and create a data set. Changes data set equals company tracker data set dot get changes. So company DAC dot save data ref change changes data set and company tracker data set dot merge. DAC dot get data and then message box dot show data saved successfully. 